you may or may not have noticed currently on my face. I thought I would address it because I don't want people to be wondering what's up with my face. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Around the World with Alex. As you can see, this time I'm not in a hotel room. I am currently in my own personal bedroom, which is quite nice. It's nice to be home for a little bit. I'm back home for about two weeks before I head off to Montreal for WPT Montreal. And actually, it's quite nice to have this period of just being at home, catching up with my friends, my family, all the errands that just fall behind. You may have noticed there are some red patches on my face. If you are wondering what this is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a doctor, uh, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. I'm sure it will be fine. Anyway, enough of that, that's boring. I am about to connect with Tony Danced. Tony, as I'm sure you will probably already know, is our commentator and host for the World Poker Tour. We were just in WP Team UK in Nottingham together and then we're gonna be in Montreal together. We'll probably end up getting sick of each other, but hopefully that won't happen. Hey! Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm really good. How are you? Doing well. I'm, uh, I'm back in Vegas after our trip to Nottingham. What do we have in store for today? All right, Tony, what do you have in store today? So, obviously we were in Nottingham together. So I thought, well, you've spent a fair amount of time now in the UK. So why don't I, you know, throw some terminology at you? Because although we do both speak English, American English and British English, are two very, very different languages. I have conjured up British slash more London slang words. And I'm gonna see how well you can translate them. Or whether you might even know them already. Maybe. I've I've made a few trips to uh, Dust Till Dawn before, played some poker in London, so I bet I'm like 50-50 here. Okay. Okay. First word is gassed. Gassed. Would that be like exhausted? Like you're just completely gassed, you can't do anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, if I said she was gassed last night. Like really drunk, like really full of full of liquor, full of no. Okay, then I'm I'm out of guesses. Gas basically means you're excited or hyped. I would oh, stop like oh you're just like you're amped for it. Yeah, you're like full of full of gas. <laughs> Alright, word number two. Waste man. Waste man. Waste man. Like, oh he was a waste man. <laughs> was it is it like saying like oh he was a shit show, like he was a disaster. Yeah. Kinda? Uh, that guy was a waste man, it means like, oh, he was an idiot, or he was just a loser. Like, yeah, kind of, but it's like a nicer uh, term than Doesn't sound like a nicer term, but okay. <laughs> okay, next word. Mad ting. Mad ting? A mad ting. I know how you would use ting in a few different ways, but when you add mad to it, I don't really, I don't know how the British use mad. I want to say like a huge party, it was a mad ting. <laughs> Kinda, I guess. Yeah, you could just say something was mad. Like, it literally was just a mad thing. But sometimes yeah. just saying the H is too much effort. So okay. you say a mad thing. <laughs> I like that. It's, yeah, yeah I like that. It's like short in English. Okay, next one. Bear. bear. But not bear as in, I was bear. Right, like sparse, like nothing there? Yeah, not that bear. A different bear. Not a grizzly bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's actually, that's London slang is a bit crazy. I just realized it basically means the opposite. Like bear, it's almost like mocking somebody for being so done up. Like it's almost like excessive and gaudy. Yeah, basically, bear means just like a lot of. There was bear man. She was wearing bear makeup. Yeah. You got okay. it. Next one, crepes. Crepes. Crepes, like it's... French crepes, but you don't eat these crepes. You don't eat these crepes. <laughs> and you don't pronounce them crepes. <laughs> Why not? Something really sweet? No, it's something you wear. Honestly, I honestly, I don't even have a guess. She would say like, I got the sickest crepes, or she's wearing some sick crepes. Shoes? Yes, trainers. Yeah. I feel like you have this word in America. No, we do not have that word. Maybe you're just not wearing any sick crepes, so no one's even brought it up to you. Yeah, that might be it. My shoes might suck. Oh, man. <laughs> Next time we play this game, I'm just gonna be like, what is the laziest version of the opposite of that word and then I'll know the answer. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll let you get on with the rest of your day. All right, have a good yeah. one. And I'll Thanks. see you in Montreal. See you there. Bye, Tony. Bye. So there we go. Tony didn't do as well as I had anticipated on my test. Some of those words were a little bit hard, I guess. And very unintuitive. I didn't actually realize that English slash London slang words were essentially just the inversion of their actual meaning. But it makes sense to us, I guess. So anyway, thank you so much for watching another episode of Around the World with Alex. Next week, we will be checking in on the next member of the World Poker Tour in another destination around the world. Stay tuned to find out who we'll be catching up with. Ciao.